Today, I will explain you how you can differentiate a term from a preterm baby based upon physical parameters. Crown lump length taken uh, during the early first trimester ultrasound is considered to be the best predictor of gestation of a baby. If you don't have a reliable history of last menstrual period or early first ultrasound, then you might have to depend upon physical parameters in order to assess the gestation. New Ballard score or expanded Ballard score has been widely used all over the world and is considered very good measure to differentiate term from a preterm. It has got 12 parameters, 6 physical and 6 neuromuscular parameters. Here I will tell you basic physical characteristics based upon which we can make a rough assessment of gestation of a baby. Now, uh, I am moving from head towards the toe that makes it easier to remember for you as well. So looking at the head, first of all we will look at the hair. In a term baby, the hair is usually silky and you can find see individual strands while in a preterm baby the uh, hair is very fuzzy. Talking about the hair, let's talk about the body hairs as well which is called as laniogo. In case of uh, preterm baby, the laniogo is quite abundant especially between around 28 weeks of gestation. It appears at around 25 weeks of gestation and is quite abundant at, uh, at around 28 weeks of gestation especially at the shoulders and upper back. While in case of term baby, the back is mostly bald, bald or devoid of any laniogo. Now, talking about hair, let's talk about the skin next. So, in skin, in case of preterm baby, you can see the veins are clearly visible and the skin is translucent. While in case of term baby, the skin is not that translucent. You can see cracks and the veins are also not very well visible. Now, coming to ear. In case of term baby, the ear is well developed, the cartilage is well developed, it reaches up to the periphery, the recoil is also instant and in case of preterm baby, this uh, cartilage is not well developed, it does not reach up to the periphery, the ear is very soft, the pinna is soft and it usually is folded, the recoil is also poor. Now in case of very preterm or uh, very immature babies, even the eyelids are fused and you can't separate them while well, that is not the case in case of a term baby. Now coming next to the chest. In chest you have to look at the breast. In uh, case of preterm baby the areola is flat and the breast bud is uh, not well developed while in case of term baby the breast bud is usually well developed and more than 5 millimeters is considered to be normal for a term baby. Now remember one thing that uh, this breast bud assessment is not a finding of inspection, you have to palpate it using your thumb and, four, uh, and your index finger and you have to see its size. Now coming to the uh, next point which is genitalia. In case of uh, term baby, male, male term baby, the scrotum is uh, well developed and the testis is descended, the uh, scrotum is pigmented and the rugi are also well developed. While in case of preterm baby, the testis is not descended. The scrotum might be empty and the pigmentation might be absent and the rugi are also not well developed. In case of female genitalia, you will find that in a term baby, the labia majora covers most parts of labia minora and clitoris while in case of preterm baby, the labia minora and clitoris are prominent. Now coming to the last point which is inspection of the soul. In soul, you will find that in case of preterm babies, the soul does not have very uh, deep creases only faint red marks can be seen while in case of term baby you can see the deep creases are present and especially in the anterior two-third or it can even be in the entire soul with, with the help of these parameters you can differentiate a term from a preterm baby i hope this was helpful thank you